Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well out there. A few months back I did a video about all my bike equipment gear that I use uh, and I mentioned that I bought these Frank Thomas gloves a while ago uh, and I was going to use them for a bit longer and then I'd give you a review to give you an idea of what their stuff is like. I'm not sure if these are still sold, they might very well be, but you know this gives you a, an idea on top of the other stuff that I've said about Frank Thomas gear. So these are the Frank Thomas Stealth gloves, they're shorties and they cost about 40, 50 pounds, something around there. I can't remember exactly what they were or if they were discounted at the time, but they were around that price, so you know, 40, 50 quid. They've got some sliders in the palm, which is great to stop you breaking bones in the back of your hand or in your wrist. They are made of leather. I believe it to be real leather. Uh, they are Velcro strapped up. Now I will say this Velcro strap does have a bit of a habit of coming undone if you're not careful. Uh, you really have to mash it in to make sure it stays done up. They are aimed more of a summer glove because they're quite open, but I actually did use them all winter and they weren't too bad at all. One of the things I'm not massively keen on, and it has reduced a bit over time, is how thick the padding is on the knuckles. See how it kind of sits up? It is perfectly comfortable and it does give you good range of movement in your hand once these give. It's just a bit weird looking, but it has sunk down a bit, say, since they were new. Is this one worse? Yeah, that, that one's probably worse, actually. Look how much of that sits up. Kind of weird, but when your hand's flat, it does make sense. That knuckle protection itself is like a, a rubberized plastic. It feels, you know, it will take a decent hit. It's not about to snap, and it will take some decent abrasions, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, it, I, I imagine with that padding, actually, it would be pretty protective. As much as a protective shorty glove can be, because obviously your wrist is exposed, but that is a uh, risk you have to take. A risky wrist. As I say, I found them to be very comfortable. There's enough feeling in them eventually once they give uh, that I'm happy to ride with them and I feel like I have full control on it. I have that natural feeling. You know, when you change gloves to new ones, even if they fit okay, you have this sort of getting used to the feel of the bike again. Uh, I'm, I'm completely natural these now, jumping between bikes and it feels fine. A week ago, I would have said that, you know, they're absolutely fantastic for that price. Really happy with them. Uh, until, let me find the one the middle finger has got a little mouth. As you can see, the stitching has gone on the end of that finger and it's uh, widening up. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sew that back up myself. What's handy is they do an external stitch. It looks, that's why we've got that raised edge. So I should be able to fix these. But, you know, for 40, 50 quid, I've been perfectly happy with them this whole time. But with a finger going in them, you know, I haven't even got through a full season yet. It's a bit, a bit disappointing. Maybe it's just a one-off, maybe it's because I've got, I don't know, maybe I've got an extra long middle finger and it's just pushing on it too hard, I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's my experience with them, so you can add that on top of my experience with the other Frank Thomas stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with Frank Thomas stuff, but just every now and then you'll get something like this and you're like, hmm, but then again... I had Alpine Star SP1s that just fell apart in about well, one season again. So, you know, 140 versus 40, 50, it's still cheaper. But there you go. There is an honest review on the Frank Thomas Stealth Gloves. Uh, as I say, I don't know if they're still available, but you maybe can apply this to their other stuff. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting or useful, please hit that like button. Thanks to my patrons who helped make this channel possible, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.